many governments around the world have started to effectuate legislation that would that would basically regulate how Bitcoin is traded in their country. One example is Hong Kong. We had chi- we had a ch- huge China, huge China news uh, on Bitcoin transactions a few days ago. We also have another place that is not going to accept Bitcoin anymore because of uh, high energy, like they did not know before when they started accepting it. So that's very peculiar. We're going to go over that. And also, of course, and we'll also look at the charts to see what kind of uh, probabilities are short term as far as the technicals go. Please use the YouTube chapters to skip to whatever piece of information you need the most. So for the Hong Kong government, uh, their uh, legislation proposals here. As a, mon- as a move to tighten uh, anti-money laundering pr- regulations, the Hong Kong government is moving to license virtual asset service providers from a legis- legislative proposal that has now moved past the consultation period. Right? So the F- SFC, necessary intervention powers to impose restrictions on anything, any company providing crypto services, right? So anything that is going to be provided, any sort of broker, any sort of uh, crypto broker, they are going to be uh, subject to whatever these intervention powers are. Or uh, hold along with what the actual uh, SFC decides to do with them. The proposal would bring the SFC more powers, yada yada. All right. Uh, so basically, I mean, there's not much news in here. It's just literally, it's another government, another place that is trying to regulate crypto, and that is they are scared about money laundering. They're scared about uh, fake. They're scared about fake Bitcoin. Uh, uh, what you know, for whatever reasons. Pick your reasoning, okay? We don't know exactly why, but it's a move to tighten anti-money laundering regulations, right? They don't want any any money money laundering action going on here. And with Bitcoin, they feel like they need to step in, you know, whatever, whether that's something that they should really be worried about. That's another video, but that's, uh, that's kind of the gist of this article. There's nothing really else worth going over here. Now, this is big, okay? Greenpeace stops accepting Bitcoin donations, cites the high energy use. Hmm, yeah, they just just now realizes the high energy use not when you started accepting it if you're so environmentally friendly right <laughs> okay <laughs> the problem is that at the moment only a fifth of the electricity used in the world's data centers come from renewable sources and that's not good enough now i don't care if you get offended with me i'm gonna be honest with you i don't care one bit but i'm just gonna tell i'm just gonna break it to all the people out there that think we're gonna get 100 percent renewable energy no coal no carbon emissions ever oh we're going to be living fine qualities of life high life expectancy with zero carbon emissions zero coal throw the coal out it's not going to happen it's not going to happen let me break something to you everything in this world that is worthwhile is is is, it requires hard work and every almost basically every single source of power it, requ- it, it comes at a cost, okay? If you want to keep a factory running that is producing food for, for people, you can have to burn coal. Now, how is this related to Bitcoin, right? I'm just, I just want to make the point that Bitcoin is not the devil in its freaking energy usage, okay? You want to make the argument that it's, that it's horrible, that uh, you know, we're going to die in 10 years because of coal? You know, all right, make that argument. I'm not here really to discuss that, but it, is, it does relate to Bitcoin. And I would just add my input is that it, at least I'll say this, the sell-off here, the sell-off, it, I mean, obviously, if you just look at the last few, if you just look at the daily chart here, you're like, okay, wow, that's a big sell. But if you look at the weekly, it's like, well, you know, we've gone up from 4,000 and less than, you know, a year and, and not even a year and a half. So yeah, maybe that, that's justified. Sure, that, that's a fine argument. But with Bitcoin, it's kind of, basically, I associate Bitcoin rising with the interest and knowledge of bitcoin because for me the technology of bitcoin i'm a pretty okay i sound pretty bullish right now i'm not actually i don't i've never actually owned actual bitcoin i i trade mara and i i I trade it and i i swing it and i i hold i used to hold it a little bit long term but not anymore anyways bitcoin the interest in the knowledge of it is what's going to dictate it as more people know about it and know the irreplaceable technology basically in my in my mind at least based on my understanding of it it's going to go up it's going to go up and it's going to keep going up there's a finite supply and the only real two headwinds that can send it to the ground is uh, a huge government regulation or someone finding a way to consistently mine fake bitcoin and now we got this other third catalyst coming in potentially that is basically talking about uh Oh, it's too, it uses energy. Oh, so bad. We need renewable sources. Yeah, well, here's the thing. When you, when you use, when you have, when you have online transactions, you know, when you use your computer, you're going to be using power. You're going to have to get that power from somewhere. And unfortunately, sometimes carbon emissions is the result. Now, is Bitcoin, now it's a whole nother video, whether the Bitcoin actual energy is actually a problem compared to other coins, right? If it's something that is like crazy, crazy high, something that, you know, 
Elon Musk wouldn't have looked at at the first time around when he invested one and a half billion. We're going to get to that in a second, but it, I think it's a bit of an overreaction. Short short term, it's probably a bit of an overreaction. But I I personally I want Bitcoin to to crash. I want it to come back to twenty k. Uh, so I can load, so I can load up on it. And look at this: the news comes soon after Elon Musk said Tesla would no longer accept payments in Bitcoin because of Bitcoin's mining's Bitcoin mining's fossil fuel use. The notion that Elon Musk would not know about the the fossil fuel use of Bitcoin mining before he invested one and a half billion. This oh, this super clean energy guy. Oh, you know the whole okay, we're gonna die in a hundred years or fifty years. The human race is gonna go extinct because we're using this that kind of person he did not check about the energy use before one and a half billion he threw in i don't think so i, I really don't think so and the whole spe my whole speculation with the tweet that's a whole nother video right but this is something that you want to know for sure that uh and and it, this relates to this article very much because basically <laughs> so many people did not care about the energy use until elon musk said oh this is bad we need to stop this you know it's like oh man but that's kind of what we're looking at as far as the article. Take a look at his Twitter. We haven't really, we really haven't seen anything. I mean, uh, on the nineteenth here, when we were at, when Bitcoin was at twenty nine k, and then uh, we we did our little Mara trading. He said to add diamond hands, and that kind of sent it way higher. That kind of sent it way way higher, um, up to forty five k, and then we got rejected. And that brings me to the charts. We did get rejected at the two hundred day EMA, not on the not on the weekly, on the daily here. We got rejected perfectly, which is a very scary sign. And if we look at some indicators here, we really don't have, to my knowledge. Well, we're getting mixed signals, but we really don't have any, we don't have a, a strong reversal. Okay. We just don't. It's just, I'm sorry, Bitcoin bulls. We don't. The super trend on the four hourly is obviously bearish on the, on the daily. It's, it's God awful. It's not even close to flipping on the daily, but you wouldn't expect that, right? Look, it's all the way up at what? 51 K. I want to look at some other indi indicators though. Okay. If we go to the macroscopic time frames, right? You just got the bearish flip on the two hourly. You just, you, you're not seeing much. Yes, you got a nice bounce, but right now, if it doesn't hold the level of support that it's currently trying to confirm the breakdown below, and it looks like it's going to, uh, 36K, 36.5K, if it doesn't hold that, you could be looking at another test of uh, of 29K, 30K. Um, it, it definitely could. There's not really any super strong supports in here. Maybe 32.5K, 33K, maybe. 32K flat, maybe it could do that. But with the fear in the market and with the markets just being batshit crazy... This is kind of what you get. Um, so I, I, I would not be surprised. But anyways, more, more on my Bitcoin speculation in a little bit and other videos. Anyways, current positions and price targets. Taking a look at my portfolio. I show my portfolio every single video to ensure honesty, transparency, and all that. Those are all my positions. That is how much money I have in right here. And then that is how much I am up or down right now. Mostly down, mostly down on all of them. All right. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Those are the price targets. And uh, this is enough nature advice. Thank y'all so much. I will see y'all in the next one.